Hi guys, and we are back with the Pontic Pentapolis challenge campaign, trying to take the whole of the Black Sea. Last time we did make a good effort by taking a lot of settlements down the coast, taking some more settlements down here, and beating back the foolish invaders over this way as well, which was very, very good indeed. But first things first, we do have a battle to do straight away, Pato Rue over here. So let's get into it. We do pretty much have all horse archers in this army. So again, it should be nice and easy. Let's go. Day has dawned. This will be bloody. Bloody, bloody, bloody. But we are free men and we do not fear the sight of our little blood. Now, sound the horns. That is no orc horn. And we are going to use exactly the same tactics as we have done before, guys. We are using horse archers after all. There is no need to not do those tactics. What do we have over here? We've got step archers. They should be falling pretty darn quick. Oh my god. Like I said, like I said in the previous video, guys, it still just fills me with joy every time I see that. Even, <laughs> even if I've seen it so many times before, it still makes me happy every single time. <laughs> it's just fantastic. Oh, and, and they're basically dead. Great. <laughs> and here comes some step axemen, guys. Let's watch them get absolutely pummeled here. There. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. And we're actually taking a melee fight over here. But um, yeah, it, it didn't last too long, I've got to say. So we'll stick these guys back on fire at will. And then who are they? who is actually firing at them right now? They've all just lost a few men there. Maybe the step cavalry, probably, but uh, yeah, we're also firing at the general here. Armored Sarmatian general. Let's just uh, pop out of there. I don't think we need to take that fight if we don't want to. So uh, there we go. And then we have the step axemen over here who are going to be Gatling gun to death as usual. And now we're just going to charge in with the boys and kill the final remaining guy. Now, uh, there is one issue with winning these battles so easily with the horse archers, guys. As you can see... These guys have been through quite a few settlements and no one is higher than a single uh, a single chevron of experience. Like, we're winning so easily that we're just not getting any experience whatsoever, but... Oh, well. <laughs> it's, it's still worth it, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest. And there we go. Are we going to get the end of the battle? And there we go, guys. Apparently, we lost four, but we actually lost 50. All because of friendly fire. <laughs> I mean, it's it's worth it for the 589 kills there, isn't it? Let's go. And there we are. Another settlement along the way. Fantastic. We are doing very well with a lot of these. I think we'll just occupy in here because it is already a town. Can get the land clearance. I mean, that's not fantastic, but it's not terrible either. Can we keep moving? Well, we have plenty of movement points. Ooh, very spicy. Let's keep on a go in then. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Oh, the Scythians are sieging this down. Are they? I can't see them. Wherever they are, they are invisible. The invisible Scythians are sieging, us that, sieging it down over here. We're going to leave this unhappy for a turn. And basically put these guys in there next turn. That should be okay. Once that's done, those guys will be happy. Fantastic. Well, I don't think there's anything left for us to do. We do have this army over here. And we've got these guys over this way too so uh let us end the turn guys and let's see what happens and kios wants a ceasefire absolutely we shall oh, take thanks. that let's see if we can get trade with them we they don't want an alliance well we probably knew that already apparently what trade is demanding they want 650 oh, i mean thanks. we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a scam here guys there we go we'll oh. offer them that uh, yeah we've left <laughs> you with no choice yes we have we uh we took it and uh we scammed you i'm, I'm sorry kios and we have another candidate for adoption. Let's absolutely accept that. Where is he? Tereus. Over here. I think you will go into Orgami, my friend. Oh, we've got two guys there as well. So we definitely need to start garrisoning some more of these settlements. Maybe the ones down south. Oh my god, they've all got garrisons. <laughs> Maybe Salmodesos or sort of Salembria, that sort of thing. So yeah, we'll probably send these guys down south then as well. And we have civil disorder in a couple of places. Obviously, this area, we knew there was going to be civil disorder there. I wonder how they're going to fare once we stick them in. 70%, that should be fine. And then, of course, we have... Oh, we have over here. I didn't realize we would have disorder over this way, but we can make them happy 
once again. Very nice indeed. Anything else of real interest? Istria became a city. That is actually quite good for us. But as you can see, we have very little money, guys. So what I am going to do is I am going to go around and check where we're recruiting and just see what troops we have left and see whether we can scrape together potentially an army, something like that, and see what we can do. Well, there are the Scythians, guys, sieging down Azara. That is fine. Um, we are going to transgress against them right now. So, sorry about that, Scythians. So, what I'm thinking of doing, we should probably get these guys on the boats once these guys have been moved. But first things first... Let us actually get one of these boys in there and I'll uh, basically refill one of these boys with the new unit. With that done, they can go back for retraining. And now we have some more garrison troops down here as well. So let's send these boys back. Unfortunately, there isn't a port there. We really need a port there. That'd be so, so helpful just in case we get attacked by rebels or enemies. Is this just a town? Yeah. That is unfortunate because we could really do with a port in one of these places. So what I'm actually going to do is merge up those Thuriophoroi and replace them with those two there. So now we have a full army once again. We've done our building now, guys. So let's go searching for the first Heracleic Pontic settlement, which is over here. Looks like Sinope is fighting them potentially as well. So um, let's get on to here. We are going to attack a neutral faction. Hopefully that doesn't do too much for us. We did transgress against Heraclea Pontica before we attacked them. So I'm not sure it's too much of a transgression to be honest. But um, yeah, we've got to be wary here because obviously inland we'll have Galatians, Pontus, Trapezus, all that sort of thing. So we are going to get embroiled in some wars that potentially we don't really want to be embroiled in. But anyway, let's go for Gaienos over here. I think I will fight this one on the field, guys. But yeah, it shouldn't be too difficult, but I'll fight it on the field. I'll probably skip most of the battle as well, because you don't want to just see siege battles, do you? Well, there we go, guys. Only lost 62 men, and this time not much friendly fire. Uh, did have to charge the horse archers in at the end there to get rid of some Thurio Foray. But overall, a nice little battle. Well, I think for Gaienos, let us just occupy for now. And then we will just keep on marching forward. We did lose a few uh, of our general's bodyguard in that fight, but... Ah. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> I really don't care too much about that. Let us come around. Let's see if we can open the gates. He did manage to succeed. And, yeah, see if he does open the gates. Nope. As usual, I, I can't remember the last time one of my spies actually managed to open the gates, you know? Like, it was a long time ago. Well, I've just seen this from Pontus, which is quite interesting. This settlement here is on the Black Sea, so we will need to take that from Pontus. But it would be nice if the Greek city-states took it, so we could just fight them rather than Pontus. But overall, yeah, there's not much we can uh, we can really do about that. We will just have to fight those two monstrous armies. I'm sure with the uh, horse archers, it won't be a problem, though. Oh, and here we go, boys. A big, big, big battle. We have the faction leader of Heraclea Ponticus, Nymphis, over here. We have our fabled leader, Mr. Mentes, over here as well. And, of course, our lovely horse archers, plus our... A little bit damaged army from fighting Adrissia, but this is going to be fun. Let's go. And at the last, there is something appealing, something appalling, something for everyone in what I must now say. We will win. Many of us yes. may die, but all of us will be brave. Brave! Yes, brave men! Let's go! Well, we are just going to hide down here with those boys, and the rest of these guys are going to go and just rip them to shreds. Um, which, of course, should be nice and fun. I should ideally really be splitting these guys, honestly. But, um, yeah, I, I don't want to micro that right now. <laughs> and the Heracleote hoplites are starting to die. Quite nicely indeed. Here comes their general. Interesting to see how this goes if he does charge in. Um, they are backed up by the other general, Captain Philippoimen, is it? 
Yeah, but he is uh, just a progemoy, so it really doesn't matter too much. And as you can see, we are starting to shred the uh, the hoplites over here. Very nice indeed. I just want to use all of this ammo. Well, here we go. We are just going to get into the fight now before they fire off all their javies. I didn't realize their hoplites actually had javies, to be fair. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. There goes the general's bodyguard. I'm honestly just considering charging from here. Let's rally the men. Let's also get you guys back. There we go. That's why I didn't want two groups. Because I knew once we got into this fight, it's going to be very, very difficult um, to do too much. He is already shaken. Not stirred, my friends. Not stirred. Let's get out, though. I think it's time that we, uh, we use our cavalry to our advantage for a little bit. And here we go. Let's see if we can get into the Progermoy over here. I very much doubt it, but we might as well try. And uh, we are basically just leading these guys on a wild goose chase. They are going to be exhausted by the time they get anywhere near our troops. And we are just going to keep firing on them, of course, as much as possible. There we go. Looks like the Progermoy is going to come and charge us. Go, boys, go! Charge! Don't just stop before the charge. It's not the best way of doing dealing damage, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's fine, and um, our main lines are doing well. Um, okay, that's the other general. Remember, we have to kill this guy if we want to take the city, so I'm thinking we just go and get rid of all of these boys now. Let's keep coming across back towards our own troops. I don't think they will catch us at all. Um, I'm wondering, what is the armor rating on these uh, Heracleo guys? They have decent armor and decent shields, so that is why they're not dying so well to the uh, to the horse archers. But uh, what can you do about that? And I think we're doing pretty well out here in the middle, honestly. There we go. Straight into the Greek archers. Absolutely savaging them there. Let's carry on. They have got uh, the Thurioforoi on the way, and that Thurioforoi looks fast. Why does it look so fast? Maybe because it's running down the hill. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just carry on chasing them down for a second. And then uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, here we go, guys. We are going to charge this general. He's got single man left. Might have to get our general out of the way of it, though. <laughs> out of the way of the Thurio Forroy. But hopefully we can kill him here. That is going to be very useful if we can. There we go. There goes their king. How many kings have we killed in this campaign, guys? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> A lot. And now we're getting uh, surrounded. No, 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 no. Not what we need. Let's get into here then. Maybe we can break these guys and then we'll be able to get through. There we go. On to them then. There we can. Now we can get through. Good, good, good. Get through there, guys. Get through there as quick as possible. As quick as possible. And we are starting to break them across the line, guys. Across the line. Um, I'm wondering now whether we have enough strength in our horse archers to just charge these guys and get rid of them. But uh, I'd rather not charge the horse archers and waste their lives needlessly. I'd rather waste their lives on friendly fire. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's keep on going, though. Hopefully, we can just use these guys now to get around. And then we can chase down some of these boys over here and fully destroy these armies. Here we go. We are going for several charges now, guys. We've got our guys here. Let's rally Mr. Mento. So that he doesn't die on the charge. They're instantly broken, those boys. Let's see if we can break them. We've also got these guys coming up this way to chase down the enemy. But uh, looks like the enemy has come back. So maybe we'll be able to break them. Oh, yeah. They're, they're very unhappy. They are very unhappy. They should break. No, no. They're, they're, they like fighting Progermoy. And why wouldn't you? Because Progermoy are absolute trash. <laughs> well, this is a very fun battle. I, um, I've got to say, I've really been enjoying this one. Let's uh, bring our guys around, see if we can hem in this whole block. That would be amazing. And what I'm going to do is with um, the rest of you boys, we are going to be chasing down the enemy rather than doing anything else. Oh, no, not you, not you, not you. You, 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 you. You guys can come this way and you can chase down the enemy as well. And with the general, we'll, uh, we'll use him in melee, of course. But what a ferocious battle for a predominantly Greek battle. I know we have a... Uh, horse archers but look at this look at this surround that we're going to get off on these boys surely that is going to break them yes and of course they're going to fight to the death so we will kill them all over here there we go a little bit of carthaginian tactics for you there boys let's go and uh with the rest of you we might as well just keep on chasing these guys down and not all of them have broken here so there is a 304 unit and this unit that haven't broken so 
Yeah, but I just love the look of that. <laughs> like, look at it. It looks awesome. Let's charge over here. See if we can break these boys. Surely they're, they're still steady, though. Okay, now they're wavering. Surely the overwhelming numbers is going to be enough. There we go. That's what we like to see. All right, now they're all ready. We're going to let them out, guys. We're going to let them out rather than making them all fight to the death. Um, and then we're going to chase them down. But a glorious little victory. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Well, there we go. That is an unmitigated disaster for Heraclea Pontica. They lost 1,891 troops. A whole 37 troops survived. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. Greek hoplites, 129 kills there. Progemoy doing absolute bits as well. Fantastic. What a glorious little battle. These guys even got two... Uh, to experience. Absolutely glorious. Let's go. And of course, we are going to enslave this one because otherwise we probably won't be able to keep it happy. And as you can see, the dirty bastards of Sinope have uh, decided to declare war on us as well. Let's have a look at our civil disorder first. That's not the best place to have civil disorder, honestly. Um, I wonder whether we can swap around some of these garrisons. I think some of these do have some extra garrisons, like you, for example. Uh, well, we could just put them in there. That might be enough. That is enough. That is enough. Fantastic. Tanias is now ready to upgrade. Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and as you can see, it did skyrocket our income there by taking Heraclea Pontica because it's quite a good town with a lot of areas to um, trade to. So, yeah, that is very good. Is that in reach of the city? Because that's a tasty little meatball if it is. Let's get that so we can get some garrison troops, because otherwise we are just going to be leaving behind some of our men. I'm thinking maybe that level, that 22 horse archers, and they're plenty happy. Fantastic. Yeah, I believe that is a drawout battle. So let's just check that if we go here and we do that. It is a drawout battle. Fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. That is exactly what we are after. Let's move the rest of our troops around and then let's go for the battle. Well, I thought it probably best if we actually send the proper army down here first rather than the reinforcements for the other army. So uh, that's what we are going to do. First things first though, guys, I am going to go for Farsis here. I probably won't show it again unless it's really crazy uh, because it's just going to be the same tactic we've used on many sieges before. So um, I shall see you at the end of the battle, most likely. Well, guys, I know I said I was going to just come to you at the end, but I just want to show you this. We've lost 30 men so far in this fight, and probably mainly due to friendly fire. They have lost half of their men. That is... I know we keep banging on about the power of horse archers, guys, and I know it's probably getting boring at this point, but... It's just ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> well, there we go, guys. Very nice battle overall. We lost about 80. Well, uh, we only lost about 20-ish to friendly fire there. So, fantastic again. The Slinger's doing 103 kills, actually. The absolute MVPs over here. Come on, the boys. What a glorious little victory. And let us enslave Farsis over here to keep it in check and keep them happy once again. Now, we don't have any garrison troops, do we? I believe. I mean, we could garrison with that guy. So we might just wait for a turn or two in here. That's probably not the greatest, uh, I mean, blitz idea, but do I want to lose? Oh, we do have, we've got these guys. Yes, yes. Fantastic. And they're plenty happy. So uh, let's come down the coast. Who are you? You are Greek city-states. Let's knock you out the way. There we go. And also, do we have uh, that spy? We do need them, don't we? So, uh, yeah, let's keep on coming. There we go. And then we're going to have to go to war with Trapezus. But first of all, let us uh, go and fight this battle over here. Um, oh, this is an interesting army. Marian Dinians, three generals. Oof. Yeah, we can take three generals, I think. Four generals, if we uh, include the people inside the city. Uh, they do have some Thorakitai, which are a very mean unit, but the rest of their army is kind of damaged and kind of trash. So again, it's going to be a case of getting rid of the cavalry with our horse archers early. Let's go. And I believe we did get a freeze. Oh dear. Well, here we are back again. Let's hope that this time it doesn't crash. At least it allows us to do some things maybe slightly different, um, like 
con uh, collecting these guys earlier, but uh, let's see, let's see. Well, here we go. Same thing as we did before, guys. Try and engage this smaller army as it comes in and try to uh, get rid of their cavalry with this other army. Um, so, yeah, like I say, they do have a decent amount of cavalry. I would like to get rid of the Zister Foroi, but they are coming across to the side. I'm going to keep these guys on skirmish mode for now in case I miss anything. Um, but hopefully we don't miss too much. So uh, let's see what we can do here. I want to drag those guys in potentially if we can. So uh, let's just keep on spreading across. Well, here we go. Let's just uh, get into the action here. And uh, march our guys forward and then do what we did last time. We're not going to get as good a position as we did last time, unfortunately. Uh, but I kind of just want to block off their retreat would be the main thing that we want to do here. Over on this side. Oh my god, we've already killed their general. Did not expect that. Well, let's get behind them. That should be quite helpful. Uh, where's where's the other where's the other battle? What what's going on? I'm <laughs> so confused. <laughs> Here we go. You guys just need to get in there. Uh, oh yeah, and we are basically surrounding the rest of the units. Fantastic. Let's get into this position, and then we can charge into the Harafalakes. And hopefully, yeah, they're miles away this time. Last time they really rushed. This time they are just miles away. Let's keep on coming because I want to fire at the Zistaphoroi, ideally. There goes one of the units, so we have lost out on that one. If we can block those boys off there like that, that would be amazing. There we go. Straight into the general's bodyguard. Who is dying a load? You just died absolutely loads. Ah, I'm assuming it's the goddamn AI firing their missiles halfway through melee, as usual. And that is their king. Nice. We've killed a lot of kings, haven't we, guys, in this campaign so far? And that is another one to add to the tally. Everyone kill them. Everyone kill them. Kill as many of them as you can before they escape. Ooh, I don't think we're going to have killed enough. I do not think we're going to have killed enough here. How are we doing over this way? They don't seem to know what they want to do. Probably because we have our horse archers right behind them. Now they're rushing up with a tiny amount of troops. Right then. Let us uh, come forward if we can. Come on, the boys. Doing a nice job. Doing a very nice job indeed. Very nice job indeed. And there goes the Zistaphorae starting to fall finally. They are going to chase us down, but uh, that's not really an issue. Let's just keep on uh, rotating around them. There we go. We may even need... Yeah, we're actually quite far away with a lot of these boys. So we're going to just get to there if we can. And there we go. How are we doing on this side? Looks like they are sending a general after us. Um, I wonder... Why are you not firing at the Zistaphoria? You are. Oh, you're just not killing many of them. Well, that's unfortunate. Could do with uh, killing a few more of those boys if possible. There we go. Starting... I mean, they're not falling very fast, are they? I mean... And these guys actually have decent experience for once. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll actually get rid of that for you now. And we'll come here. And there it goes. There's this to fall right. They are going to fall now. That's it. I'm surprised they've not broken yet. And there they have. They have broken. Fantastic. That is what we like to see. And then over here, we are finally in position. What are these guys doing? Like, I hate it when the AI does that. It, like, tries these stupid little flanking moves that just don't work. Right. Let's come forward with the rest of these guys. And uh, where's the rest of the cavalry? And then we'll get our cavalry around this way and see what we can do. There comes the general. Oh, dear. Poor general. Poor AI, honestly. I feel bad for them. See if we can get into there. See if we can get into there. Why are they running away? Your hoplites, stand and fight, you fools. Like, stand and fight. We will catch you. Like, why are you running away? <laughs> it makes no sense. Where's that other unit? Oh, these guys are stuck. Oh, no. Oh, well, we've got our guys stuck. That's unfortunate for us. But, uh, yeah, let's just keep on moving backwards with these boys. They're all so spread out now. All so spread out. I'm surprised they're not withdrawing from this. And what do we have? We've got the hoplites. Oh, we uh, we absolutely shredded them. I didn't even realize. Let's, uh, let's get behind. And then where are the hoplites here? Yeah, you guys. I think we'll send you like into this gap here because it's kind of needed right now. 
What are you guys doing as well? That's not the one, boys. Just running around in circles. They have gone mad. They have gone mad. <laughs> they have gone totally and utterly mad. Um, yeah, we should be able to fire into the Greek Thorakitai here. Let's just do that and see whether they get start getting shredded. See what happens. See if the Gatling guns start to work. And it also allows our guys a little bit of time to rest because they're a bit tired. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that is... Oh, they broke literally one volley. <laughs> Sounds like a French column in the Peninsula War, to be honest to me, guys. I'm sorry, French people. Um, right, let's uh, let's go over here then. Oh, this is just this is just glorious, isn't it? This is just absolutely fantastic. This is just so enjoyable. Come on, the boys, just running rampant through them. What are they doing over there? I don't understand. What are you doing? Right, let's just chase them down for a moment. And then the rest of you guys can go and chase these guys down. And we'll send these boys over here. I don't know what they're doing. Like, what they think they're doing. But uh, it's not very good, is it? <laughs> well, they are withdrawing now. That is unfortunate for them. Uh, I think what we'll do is just, like, click on there and just see if our guys can catch them. And then we'll bring our cavalry through too. See if they can do any damage. I mean, these guys are still fresh. So that is fantastic. And uh, you guys get you back on fiery, 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 bang, bang mode. And let's see if we can uh, get ahead of this army. That would be amazing. Or just kill enough of them with the rest of our troops. They will survive because of that general, unfortunately for us. But um, I'm hoping we can kind of get a get ahead of them. Like, what if we just get it, get in there to the upper bar type? They've only got their only slingers. Oh uh, uh, no! In fact, just go there, go there, guys, go there. It'd be better. You'll get there quicker. So, uh, yeah, they're about to run out of ammo, so we've done well on this one. And uh, let's see if we can catch them then. There we go. Anyone else? Oh, we've got the uh, the two Heracleo hoplites over there as well. Let's see if we can catch the slingers. I don't think we're going to be able to. I think we're just going to have to charge them with this sort of army. I will rally, though, of course. And, uh, yeah, that's that's just shredded them there. I don't think we'll break these boys, but it's basically just... Oh, come on. Just to halt them until we can get there. So, do your charge and then just get out. One of them is wavering already, though. And we'll just block their route. Like, uh, I'm not bothered about actually engaging them again. I just want to block their route completely. And looks like they are going to fight. Fantastic. Well, then, let's have a go. If they think they're hard enough, come and have a go, boys. Come and have a go. Well, that was an insanely fun battle. Insanely fun. We lost like 150 men. And in the end, yeah, yeah, it's a bit more than 150, but it, it's not bad at all. A fantastic result. The Progemoy doing well, the Horse Archers doing fantastically, and the Hoplites holding their own as well. I mean, ultimately, this army should be dead if we'd killed the general, but unfortunately, we didn't kill one of the generals. So they will still exist. Mm, and I think we might just be able to take the town too. So glorious. And of course, they uh, went into the city. I thought we were sieging it down, but obviously we weren't now. So I think that's an auto resolve waiting to happen though, isn't it, guys? So we are getting the recruitment in here. Let's see. Oh, we can get a diplomat because I want to talk to the Galatians, the uh, perpetual enemies of the Seleucids. Let's see if we can uh, get that in there. Now, the rest of our money, let us do some building. I'm going to prioritize places that we have um, uh, that we have recently conquered, guys, as usual. Um, and then, yeah, we'll uh, go on to the next turn. And Kizikus decided to attack us. Um, just standard things of being down on the coast here for some reason. Kizikus just loves it. End the bloodshed. Well, I mean, Sinope, you started this, so oh, I mean, yeah. no one wants Would any diplomatic relations with us I'd at all at the time. moment. And we did manage to get a few garrison troops. I'm thinking of bringing like most of these boys across. Honestly, um, we've got some in here. Is that okay without of you? No, we'll leave behind the 27 men just in case then. Bring you guys back across to there. You guys into there as well. And this ship, it's just two ships, so it is a bit risky moving it this far, but it's okay. We'll be fine. 
Um, and then we'll come down this way. Let's uh, keep on knocking those guys back. What do they have? Let's just auto see what happens. 192. Well, that's not ideal. We are neutral with Trapezus. Let's see if we've got Mercenaries. Oh my god, there's so many Mercenaries. Galatian Thorakitai are insanely good as well. How can we get Carrion Infantry all the way in the north here? Because Carrier is like... Like... Is it not Chrysauria where you get them? Like it's over here, right? <laughs> oh well. Uh, don't ask questions. They're a Mercenary Band. They've come all the way up north. 4,800 for those boys. Um, I think we'll get the carrion infantry just because they're fun. I know that's a waste of money, guys, but uh, we're at the point now where we can just... We don't need to worry about everything. We can just have a little bit of fun. I might take out this one as well from uh, Trapezus just in case. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, keep on coming down the coast. Then it's Greeks that we have to worry about. Or, or to say, Greek city-states. Um, over here, let's... Uh, oh, okay, we got the ceasefire with Sinope. So I was going to say, otherwise we would have had to uh, worry about that somewhat. But that is glorious. That is good. That is another settlement to us. And they're actually perfectly happy just like that. What do they have? Temple of Zeus, which gives law. Well, let's destroy that for now. Um, again, same question. If there's any mercenaries we could do with them. Well, we'll, they will be happy with just five of the Prodromoi. So let's go and take out the rest of Heraclea Pontica. This has been a rather successful campaign against Heraclea Pontica down here. Let's destroy the military buildings here. We're never going to use them 100%. Uh, if we're going to use any, we'll use the ones in Heraclea Pontos. So we might as well take the extra money. And I think we'll just build like a law temple because we are relatively far from our capital, especially all the way over here. And Thomas has grown, guys, which is fantastic. I've also gone around all our fringe regions and deleted like uh, the military buildings like Argame there. Like we're never going to recruit there. Like this one, Tyras over here. That was the one that actually grew. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go with that. Uh, but yeah, some of these fringe regions, especially over here, like we are going to keep one. Uh, we are going to keep Gaienos. Oh, I didn't even realize they didn't have anything, any recruitment buildings in there. I thought they would have. Well, we'll probably have to rely on Trapezus then when we get to it. Uh, that is good though. We have two coming in of age, so that's fantastic. Where do we want to send them though? Because... Yeah, we've got pretty much a governor in all of these. Well, I'll have a look where the best place to send these boys is. And Kabile was actually bribed off us. Who by? By the Adrisius? <laughs> I mean, if you think that's going to save you... <laughs> I've got another thing coming for you, Adrisia. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is just kind of dumb. Uh, but, yeah, we, we're at war with Kizikus. Obviously, they've just seized it down with a general because they're imbeciles. So, yeah. Well done to them. Right then, let's use the rest of our money um, to uh, do some building, guys. And that's what we'll end on. So if you uh, if you don't want to watch the building, that's absolutely fine. I hope you do like and subscribe, though, guys. Um, that really does help the channel out. And a lot of you do find this building uh, kind of therapeutic. We're going to ignore Adrissa for now. And, uh, yeah, we're on the road to 5K, guys. And we're actually very nearly there. So, uh, yeah, it would be amazing. If you did consider giving us a like and a subscribe, if you have enjoyed this video, of course. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these places, we have basically built everything at the moment. Uh, which is, yeah, just quite annoying. Um, Pantica Pion. I'm honestly thinking the Academy in Pantica Pion would be a great option. Um, because this, of course, is... Well, it should be a rich town, but it's got that little glitch where it shows upkeep there. That it doesn't need to. So that upkeep doesn't actually exist. I'm pretty sure that is a glitch. So it should be 1,700 more than what it's showing. So yeah, that's good. Um, and then yeah, just, just getting the, some nice standard cheaper sort of buildings. If there's nothing to build in some of these places. Like Perinthos for example. Although the roads, I wonder would they be worth... You can see this one has that upkeep thing as well. I mean it's... yeah. 5,000 for an extra 80. 
uh, it's not ideal, is it? I mean, it's and it's also not a great location for roads. We're not going to walk through there too much. So I'd rather spend it on some better stuff. Like Byzantium is a minor city as well. And we do have a guy with six management in here. So again, an academy would be fantastic. Get that management even higher. I just asked, let's go for the sewers. Um, Celembria sewers as well. And then we're going to get right up towards the top now, guys, which is rather good. And I feel like we've been building pretty useful buildings in most cases. So we've kind of exhausted the amount of useful buildings we can make, apart from maybe an Istria, that sort of thing. And then right at the top, let's see if there's anything useful at all. Not necessarily, really. Not necessarily, really. Um, so, yeah, well, I think we'll leave it at that then. I don't think we need to do too much more. Anything of interest, like just standard roads or a temple. A temple would be good, actually. Let's go for law in Olbia. And let's also go for trade in, um, in Teresis. Well, guys, I think that's been a very successful episode. I don't know how many settlements we have left. We can probably actually count them, can't we? So, one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then whatever's left over here. 12, 13, 14, 15 settlements. Uh, well, and then of course, 16, 17 there, 18, 19 up there, and then whatever this one is. <laughs> so 19 more settlements. We are very close. We're two-thirds of the way there, guys. Fantastic. More than two-thirds, I would say. So that is absolutely awesome. But of course, getting into Anatolia, we don't know what sort of wars are going to await us. We don't know what sort of, how far inland we're going to have to go. But anyway, guys, it has been a pleasure. So please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video. And once again, massive thank you to the channel members of Cowie, Pascal, and David. If you are interested in becoming a channel member and supporting the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can do down in the link in the description. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all again on the next video.